Hi, this is Mark with QuicksVenture.com. Today we're going to answer that burning question, what is Crystal Ubuntu? If you've got a first generation Apple TV, that's the silver one you can see in front of you, not the black one, that's the new second or third generation, you probably aren't using it very much because all it's really good for is to play some old AVI files or some iTunes stuff. But if you have one of these devices, there's an application out there called Crystal Ubuntu. And with the help of a USB thumb drive and a Broadcom decoder board, you can turn this old Apple TV into one of the best video players you can buy. And the way that you do it is uh, you go to stmlabs.com and download the Crystal HD installation tool and create a USB thumb drive. I've already done that. And then the next thing you do is take apart your first generation Apple TV, remove the Wi-Fi adapter, and replace it with this Broadcom decoder board. This is the first generation Broadcom decoder, and it's the uh, 70012 model. Uh, it's the full-size card. You really want the new generation 70015. I've got one of them in another Apple TV, and in the video after this where we're going to take apart the Apple TV and actually do the hardware modification, I'll show you both cards. For the purposes of this video, I'm not even going to crack the case on my Apple TV because I want to show you how easy Crystal Ubuntu really is. As you can see, this Apple TV is running the native Apple operating system. We've created the USB thumb drive from stmlabs.com and all we're going to do is pull the power out of our Apple TV, plug in the USB thumb drive, and plug power back in. The first time you do this on your Apple TV, it's going to take a really long time to start up. And uh, that's because the Ubuntu image is going to download a whole bunch of updates from STM Labs. And it's, uh, it, it keeps itself up to date. I've already done that, so this boot up is going to take significantly less time, about two to three minutes. The first thing you see is the uh, Linux Penguin sitting on the Apple TV. That's the logo for Crystal Ubuntu. Actually, I guess it's the logo for... Uh, ATV bootloader. Uh, the next thing you're going to see is the Ubuntu style startup process with a bunch of text going across the screen. This takes about 30 seconds to a minute. Typically uh, once every month or two there's an update which will mean that it takes longer but you almost never have to turn the device off so you don't see this very often. Another cool thing that you can do with the Apple TV uh, running Crystal Ubuntu, once you've cracked the case and you've pulled out the Wi-Fi adapter, you can actually remove the hard drive and you can remove the uh, fan to make it completely silent. If you do choose to do that, there's a couple more steps. You need to modify some system files on your thumb drive, and we've got a video for that coming up really soon. So you can see that the uh, XBMC logo has come up, and now without really doing anything except plugging in a USB thumb drive and plugging it into power, we're now running XBMC as the front end for our Apple TV. And if you had installed the Crystal HD decoder board, you could be watching uh, up to full 1080p resolution videos uh, with you know, great clarity. It's a, it's a really, really good video player. I have some Apple TV second generations. I have some HTPCs. I've used the Western Digital Lives. And uh, my favorite is the uh, first generation Apple TV with uh, Crystal Ubuntu. Now the really cool thing about Crystal Ubuntu also is that we haven't actually modified anything on the Apple TV hard drive. So I'm going to power off, even though it doesn't really power off, but it's going to uh, unmount the file system. Power off the Apple TV. And once it's basically shut down, I'm going to unplug it, pull the thumb drive back out, and plug it back in. And now, the first generation Apple TV is going to boot back to the Apple operating system. So nothing has changed on the hard drive. And that's pretty cool, because it means you can try this out with really no, you know, there's nothing stopping you. There's no uh, commitment. So you can see it booting the normal Apple TV boot process. And that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching. Uh, look back at quicksventure.com. There's a whole lot more to this guide. In the next video, we will actually modify the hardware, so we'll take it apart, and we will install the Crystal HD decoder board. 
and then I also have some videos on how to modify those system files if you choose to remove the hard drive and the fan. Uh, my personal system, I have removed the fan and the hard drive, and it's my favorite video player. So thanks for watching. This is Mark with QuicksVenture.com.